हेलो विजिटर्स वेलकम टू अवर चैनल जियोलॉजिकल नॉलेज सो वी आर इन द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द यू पी एस सी असिस्टेंट जियोलॉजिस्ट इंटरव्यू टू थाउजेंड एटीन इन द प्रीवियस टू वीडियोज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बेसिक ओवरव्यू ऑफ द इंटरव्यू एंड द क्वेश्चन विच आर टू बी आस्ड बाई द चेयर पर्सन मीन्स योर पर्सनल डिटेल्स एंड सम डिस्कशन ऑन द एक्सपर्ट्स पैनलिस्ट and especially about the field dissertation and phd work and uh, probable questions and the areas from where the questions will be asked by the panelist about your field and your dissertation work so in this third part we will discuss in detail about the basic geology or elementary geology topics to be covered thoroughly for the preparation of the interview so we will deal one by one that how to prepare and what to prepare for the particular branches so we will start our discussion with geomorphology and physical geology so basically whatever we will discuss about the particular branch of the geology that will deal with the basic and the important questions which are to be asked are the probable questions from where the questions are being asked but it doesn't mean that you have prepared only these questions which are i am discussing here you will have to for the better results you will have to go for the undergraduate classes what you have studied in the undergraduate classes you will have to revise all the things but what we are discussing here it's for the better emphasis you have to focus your main revision and your main preparation on to these topics but in a nutshell you have to prepare each and everything the better you will prepare yourself for the interview the better will be the results so i am starting with geomorphology and physical geology so what you have to cover and read for the physical geology is the detailed knowledge of the volcanism earthquakes floods and recent hazards in india so about the volcanic processes what are the types of volcanisms how it occurs about the crater about the caldera about the volcanic products and type of volcanics types of volcanoes which one is more dangerous more explosive and which one is less explosive the speeds so means the mechanism of volcanic processes the earthquakes okay the basic terminologies related to earthquake like focus hypocenter and the epicenter and the isoseismal lines the magnitude the intensity the scales for the magnitude and intensity means rosiferal scale mercalli scale richter scale so the basic thing about the earthquake and more importantly the prediction of earthquakes the reason the causes of earthquakes why earthquake occur and the floods as we have seen and recent hazards in india floods as we have seen in the recent past that in kerala we have a very disastrous flood uh, which has occurred in that state and the cyclones are in, in the arabian uh, in the bay of bengal at the coast of odisha and andhra pradesh so you have to prepare for the hazards which have occurred recently in your country and then landforms formed by rivers wind glaciers groundwater you would have studied about the landform erosional features depositional features transportational features which are formed by the rivers by the wind the glaciers and groundwater and more emphasis should be on the rivers okay how alluvial fans are formed how deltas are formed you know how oxbow lakes are formed how rivers meander so all these basic terminologies related to river and same with the wind glacier and ground water then we have drainage basins and morphometry drainage basins means what are the drainage basins drainage pattern we see in the rivers and the drainage density and the morphometry analysis means the bifurcation ratio the sinusity index of a river the sinusity pattern in a river and the uh, uh, drainage pattern so and detailed knowledge of plate tectonics with examples means plate tectonic means convergent plate boundary the mechanism going on at the convergent divergent and transform fault boundaries the examples their definitions 
okay so this is all you have to focus in the geomorphology and physical geology then we will go for the remote sensing in remote sensing the basic question is what is remote sensing and how it helps in the further geological studies how we utilize remote sensing what are the benefits advantages over the other uh, object uh, other referral point of view so from that point satellite imageries importance in geology what are the satellite imageries how are they being made yeah. what type of softwares and hardwares we use for the manufacturing of the satellite imageries how they are being formed how they are being constructed what are their significance so whatever you study in geology just have a basic significance that what how does it signify uh, what is the importance of this particular thing in geological studies means he can ask the question what is the usefulness what is the advantages or what is the significance importance of satellite imageries in geological sciences or in the study of geological so you will have to prepare yourself from this point that you have to have one or two significances importances of particular thing okay and then stereoscopes as you have seen that for the analysis of the aerial photographs the stereoscopes are used in which two same images of a particular thing are being used and being overlapped and that 60% part is being overlapped so they can ask you why the 60% part of is overlap being overlapped and what are other usefulness what do you see what are the um, uh, priorities which we give to aerial photographs rather than ground photographs so that will come under the category of aerial photography how it is being done what are the types of aerial photographs how they are being taken why we use uh, ground uh, aerial photography what are the priorities for the aerial photography rather than ground photography okay and then gps how it functions the users and the uh, segments three segments are there okay in the gps pattern so you will have to go for the detailed analysis of gps and then gis geographical information system how it works how it being prepared and what are the hardwares and softwares which are used in ge geographic information system how does it signifies means its significance so this one and next one is structural geology if i have to choose two branches from where most of the question are being asked then i will tell structural geology is one of them and number two is sedimentology because these two branches are very interchangeable and very important for the uh, view of the geology in geology these two branches are very thoroughly used for the analysis and for the structural geology point of view you have to prepare basic overview of folds faults and conformities joints outliers inliers clipe nappe window means their definition and suppose in terms of folds and faults and conformities you have to go for the basic definitions and the type of the folds faults and conformities how are they signified how are they identified in the field how will you differentiate between a fold a fault and and conformity okay what are the joints how are they formed how will you recognize in the field means your field knowledge is being checked via structural geology how will you identify a particular fold particular fault so you have to prepare accordingly okay basics of stress and strain processes of rock deformation how rock deformation process take place what are the stages in the deformational processes basics of stress and strain means different type of stresses okay their formation and their significance and strains stereographic projection this is very important topic related to structural geology because what you see what data you take from the instruments like brenton compass means the strike direction the dip direction the plunge of a particular bed the rake of the bed 
and this all data is being plotted on the stereographic projection so the basics of stereographic projections and how we use stereographic projection they can ask a particular question related to stereographic projection like they will give you a strike direction and fault direction and sorry strike direction and dip direction and they will ask you to plot on the stereographic projection roughly on a on a paper sheet so you will have to prepare that the questions may be asked in a practical way you will have to draw the stereographic projection so prepare accordingly shear zones types shear sense indicators and products what are shear zones how are they formed how will you differentiate between a shear zone and a fault what are the types of shear zones brittle ductile ductile shear zone ductile brittle shear zone the shear sense indicators okay what indicators are which reflect shear sense the products of the shear sense seen shear zones mean myelonides ultra myelonides uh, and uh, cataclastic cataclastic textures being formed because of the shear zone transform and transparent fault and thrust fault so this is particular transform and transparent faults and thrust faults you have to go for the definition about these faults and the differences between the faults then you have the stratigraphy in stratigraphy or if i call it as basic geology the basic of geology starts with number one geological time scales geological time scale is something which is very very important in the studies of geological sciences and you have to prepare the geological time scale accordingly to its significance means each and every period each and every era you have to go for the detail that at what time the particular um, origin has taken place suppose that when the first plant was immersed in that time scale the first dinosaur the first trilobite brachiopod bivalve first first plant first flower human evolution i mean the whole geological time scale has to be prepared thoroughly not only for the interview purpose but for the written examination or for the objective type questions you will have to prepare gts thoroughly and then stratigraphic boundaries the boundaries we have at the precambrian cambrian boundary we have permian triassic boundary we have cretaceous tertiary boundary neogene paleogene boundary so you will have to prepare that what time that boundary has taken place and what were the major changes in the geological or geographical Uh, situations ge geographical and geological changes which have taken place at a particular boundary and the extinction events which have taken place at cretaceous tertiary boundary or any other as we can say for the example at permian triassic boundary what were the extinction events which have taken place so prepare accordingly and uh, next one is kadappa dharwad vindhyan gondwana shivalik supergroups these are few super groups from them they ask questions regularly okay and kutch lamata and bark formations deccan traps intertrapian beds so these few are the important topics of stratigraphy from where the questions will be asked and what have you you have to prepare relating to these super groups and deccan traps and intertrapian beds the age of the particular formation the particular super group the thickness the strike of the particular what is the strike of kadappa super group for example and the fossils fauna and flora both the fossils you are uh, getting from the particular you will get from particular super group means what fossil or flora and fauna you will get from kadappa super group from the gondwana super group and next one is economic minerals what economic minerals we will get from kadappa super group okay so for example i am taking all these examples so you have to prepare in terms of age thickness strike fossils and economic minerals next one is 
paleontology in paleontology you have to focus most importantly on the micro fossils and in micro fossils your emphasis should be on the foraminifers because foraminifers are the most important micro fossils which are being used for the related relative purposes in geological sciences we use them as biostratigraphic markers for the uh, other stratigraphic uh, significances we are using foraminifers uh, so about the foraminifers and about their cell how they are formed where they live in the bottom surfaces of the ocean and the diatoms who knows about their morphology and types of their skeleton of which material their skeleton is made of so all these things about micro fossils and their significance what is the significance of micro fossils in geology okay living and index fossils what are what are living and index fossils okay examples of on both these living and index fossils ammonoids about what are the ammonoids their sutures and their significance living ammonoid you can take any example from living ammonoids bivalves especially dentition differences in bivalves and brachiopods basically you will have to prepare for the differences in bivalves and brachiopods differences in gastropod and cephalopod differences in regular and irregular equinoid these are three definitions three differences which are regularly being asked in the interview and you have not to answer all the differences you have to say basic differences about their dentition about their valves about their symmetry about their ages about their morphology so prepare for few topics prepare accordingly that you have to, so that you could answer two three questions two three differences in a particular uh, fossil group and then importance of fossils and micro fossils in geological studies what is the importance how they help in the different fields of geology okay so you have to prepare and then petrology and in igneous petrology the basis of classification of igneous rocks how the igneous rocks are being classified on the basis of uh, silica content on the basis of minerals being present on the basis of types of minerals being present okay and bowman reaction series solid solutions reaction rings how they are being formed in a phase diagram the phase diagrams the basic concept behind the phase diagrams how it works okay and igneous textures and structures so basically you have to prepare for the definition of textures especially uh, porphyritic texture poikilitic texture what is hypidiomorphic texture so basic overview of the textures and structures you see in the rocks famous rocks like kimberlites lamprophires carbonatites and orthosites basic overview of the these rocks about their composition chemical as well as mineralogical compositions their occurrences if they occur in india about the trace element studies if they trace if the elements trace element studies has been done in the context of these rocks so go for the trace element studies and then for the metamorphic petrology this is also very important branch for the interview purposes because they ask question regularly from the metamorphic petrology related to metamorphic textures and structures especially foliations lineations cystosity nisosity how they are being formed how will you identify them in the field uh, types of metamorphism regional metamorphism contact dinothermal okay and migmatites what are migmatites what are leucosome what are melanosome and the hornfels how they are being formed cataclastic textures difference between cataclastic textures and cataclasis and mylonites how they are being formed they are the products as you will be knowing that cataclastic texture and mylonites are the products of shear sense products and then metamorphic grade and facies this is very important in terms of metamorphic petrology that what are metamorphic facies and what is the particular temperature pressure condition for a particular facies and in especially difference between diagenesis and metamorphism what is the 
डिफरेंस बिटवीन द डायजेनेसिस एंड मेटामोफिजम गो फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन पेयर मेटामोफिज बिल्ड्स अबाउट द रॉक्स स्पेशल रॉक्स लाइक फिलाइट्स सिस्ट नाइसिस देयर कंपोजिशन टाइप्स एंड टेक्सचर्स जियोथर्मोमीट्री जियोबैरोमीट्री हाउ दे आर बींग यूजफुल इन द जियोलॉजिकल स्टडीज एंड मेटामोफिक पेट्रोलॉजी हाउ दे आर यूजफुल हाउ दे वर्क ओके सो गो फॉर द डिटेल्ड नॉलेज and then sedimentology this is one of the favorite branch of mine and uh, very easy branch to cover in few time and you can cover it thoroughly about the sedimentary textures and structures occurrences and significance diagenesis and lithification how diagenetic changes in the rocks takes place what is the lithification how does it takes place classification of sandstone and limestone folks and petty jones classification next is provenance studies what are provenances what are the sources from where the sediments come from and their significance in sedimentological studies how they uh, provide advantages in sedimentology sedimentology the sedimentary basins of india processes of formation what are the basins which are being formed at the convergent boundary at the divergent boundary under the subduction plate at the transform bound plate boundary so these type of questions related to sedimentary basins and their distribution in india and then sequence event and alloy stratigraphy this is a very important thing in terms of sedimentology that many of the times they ask questions from sequence stratigraphy suppose that they will give you a sequence in a rock in a river like three sequence suppose they have given and they will ask to arrange them in a sequential manner according to sequence stratigraphy so you will have to prepare for sequence event and alloy stratigraphy the basic basics of this three stratigraphy branches and this most important branch of geology from where questions are being asked thoroughly is economic geology the processes of ore formation no especially hydrothermal and magmatic and sedimentary processes setex deposit vms volcanogenic massive sulfide deposits porphyry deposits iocg deposits and their indian examples okay so go for the google and follow examples of setex vms porphyry and iocg in india and their host rock what is the host rock of a particular sedex deposit suppose that for example if i go for example of sedex deposit then we have a just leave it we will discuss in next video about the particular deposit sedex deposit in india vms deposit in india porphyry copper deposit in india leave it we will discuss it in another video but about the basic overview of exploration prospecting drilling practical knowledge how exploration is being done how prospecting is being done how drilling is being done how will we decide that which type of drilling will be done rotary drilling will be done or percussion drilling will be done so that practical knowledge they can ask the exploration for particular mineral suppose that they ask the question that how will you explore for bauxite bauxite mineral you are getting a bauxite mineral in a particular area then how your exploratory activities will take place how will you go for that drilling processes so the practical aspect of that drilling exploration and prospecting have to be taken care of then geochemical and geophysical method of prospecting and exploration how geochemical prospecting is being done how geophysical prospecting and exploration is being done geochemical surveying the soil sedimentary surveys the stream sediments which are being how they are being surveyed in a region the geological geochemical geophysical and thematic mapping how they are being done on what are the differences when we go for the geological mapping and when we go for the geochemical mapping what are the differences and what are the additional things we look for in geochemical mapping so for differences per point of view they can ask difference between any two mapping how we go for the geochemical mapping geophysical mapping and then we have indian deposits 
इंडियन डिपॉजिट्स ऑफ आयरन कॉपर मैगनीज लेड जिंक गोल्ड एंड एल्यूमिनियम ओके कोल्ड पेट्रोलियम यूरियम एंड थोरियम यूरेनियम एंड थोरियम सॉरी सो यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर दिस इंपॉर्टेंट डिपॉजिट्स इन इंडिया इन टर्म्स ऑफ मोड ऑफ ओरिजिन दैट हाउ दे आर बींग ओरिजिनेटेड इन अ पर्टिकुलर एरिया द अक्रेंसेज हाउ दे आर अकर्ड हाउ दे आर अकरिंग इन अ पर्टिकुलर रॉक पर्टिकुलर डिपॉजिट एंड द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन इंडिया वेयर आर दे आर वेयर आर दे डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन इंडिया एंड होस्ट रॉक एज इज स्ट्रक्चरल फीचर्स वट आर द होस्ट रॉक फॉर पर्टिकुलर डिपॉजिट वॉट इज द एज ऑफ द रॉक्स बींग फाउंड and structural features if any structural feature is related to a particular deposit their significance and the special topics apart from the basic geology you have to focus on some special topics of geology for example twinning and types what is twinning yeah? what are the types of twinning petrological and ore microscopy what is the differences between petrological microscope and ore microscopes how we use them okay himalaya formation tectonic division ages structures rocks and minerals so you will have to prepare whole himalaya in a nutshell if i say in brief that whole himalaya whatever you can study about himalaya you will have to go for because they can ask question from any of the part related to himalaya they can ask the structural features in a particular himalaya division tectonic divisions about the formations the ages the minerals being found then indo gangetic plain whole knowledge of indo gangetic plain how they are being formed the uh, significance of indo gangetic plain uh, related to himalaya and famous rivers like ganga yamuna godavari narmada tapi etc their origin and confluences from where they are being originated and the confluences they make at the particular place and basic hydrology ground water pollution how ground water pollution is taking place what are the causes what are the sources what are the uh, mitigation prevent mitigation or preventive measures to be taken for the delimitation of the ground water pollution how can we reduce ground water pollution what are the aquifers how they are being classified on the basis of porosity and permeability and basic knowledge of porosity permeability what are the definitions and how they are related and their effect on the aquifers the hydrological cycle the rain water harvesting why rain water harvesting is done how it can be done what are the advantages of rain water harvesting okay and uh, managed aquifer recharge or artificial recharge how we can recharge an aquifer artificially geysers hot springs and hot spots what are geysers example hot springs example hot spots example okay their definitions and their occurrences with examples geological parks in india basic geomorphology of india just have a basic geomorphological overview of the india about uh, for the better preparation with any basic book you can go for the basic geomorphology of india only for the overview of the geomorphology and next one, one of the most important topic of special topic is name of the books and authors this question can be asked if you suppose they are ask they they are asking you which one is your favorite branch in geology suppose you have said sedimentology so they can ask you that which book of sedimentology you have preferred and who is the author of that book they can ask this question from any of the branches of geology so go for at least two books for particular branch of geology and their authors okay so in a nutshell this is the all about your preparation for the uh, basic geology so prepare accordingly and if you have any problem related to particular question or particular branch you can comment in the comment box and i will try my best to answer the questions okay and uh, prepare accordingly good luck